All right, here is another way to solve a fraction with a whole number using a number line. Um, I know some people love number lines because it's a different visual and you actually get to hop with it. I mean, you've been learning about the number line since you were in first grade. So if you're comfortable doing the number line, you can always use it for fractions. So I have three, so a whole number, multiplied by two thirds, so a fraction. I'm gonna go ahead and make my number line. Now here's the thing, if you love number lines um, and you're using them with fractions, you gotta make sure you know your fractions as well. Like knowing how many would make a whole number. So I'm gonna show you that. So I have a zero because that's where you wanna start. And then you're gonna break this in two thirds because once again, you're looking at your denominator because that one lays out what you need to solve this equation. So you're gonna put one third, two thirds, and then if you have three thirds, so a three over a three, that means it's a whole number. So you're gonna put a one. Then you're gonna start again, one third, two thirds, and then don't forget, you gotta make a two whole number because now you have two holes. Now you're gonna do it again, one third, two thirds, then a three hole, one third, two thirds, then a four. And you can keep going on because I don't know what my answer is going to be. So I'm just gonna keep going until I fill in my number line. And if I end on a third, that is okay. It's not a big deal. If you need to continue on with your number line, you could easily make another one right below it. All right, so I'm gonna start there. Now, I have two thirds. That means I need to hop two thirds, but I need to do three hops in total by three thirds. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that because what I just said is super confusing. Okay, I'm starting at zero. I need to go over two thirds. So I jumped two thirds. That's the easiest part of all this. I'm at two thirds, that is one hop, but I need to do three hops. So I'm gonna put hops. Okay, I have one down. Now I'm gonna go over another two thirds. So one, two. Now I'm at one and one third. That's my second hop. And then my last hop, I'm gonna go over again. So if you wanna look at it ahead of time and know where you're going, you can go, okay, one third, two thirds, so I hop to my next one and I have two. Now, my answer should be just two and you should be able to just go, okay, got it. But if you wanna check yourself, you can check yourself using the model or using the three over one, putting that whole number over one, which I'm gonna do right here just because for time's sake, I don't wanna waste too much of your time on this video. So I'm just gonna double check it by using the method that I prefer. If you prefer a different method, that is okay. So I'm gonna go straight across, I get six over three. I use my division knowing six divided by three, that is two. And I know for sure I can't take my Uber drive because there's nobody to pick up down here. Oops, I can't even see it, my bad. I can't do my roundabout because there's nobody to pick up. So it stays as a two. So I just checked myself using another method but if you are comfortable using the number line, you probably don't need to use another method to check yourself, but definitely make sure your hops are in order. I know it sounds really goofy saying hops like a bunny, but I mean, they do look like hops. Um, I hope this helps. Sorry, it was really quick, um, but if you need more help with this method because you like this method or maybe there's something that's confusing you in this method you can always look back in this video or you can ask me on google classroom or even in the zooms all right see you till then